Hey everyone, welcome back to Ore Sawmill. Uh, today I'm going to show you what uh, I do at my home shop. Um, I have a molding machine um, that I make tongue and groove. This is some of the tongue and groove behind me right here that I make. I have uh, a shiplap, but I do not have any of that available right now. So this is the boards before they go through the molder. I plane one side, straight line, rip the edges, and uh, then I can run them through the machine and I don't have to worry about any of the boards having any uh, curve in them. So they're all perfectly straight. Um, I get eliminate the, the curve before they even uh, go through the machine. I don't like to have boards that have uh, a sweep in them. So these are perfectly straight. Blue stain, red pine, ready to go up. Uh, it's called blue stain because it's got this uh, bluish color right here, bluish gray. Um, it actually also turns brown like it does here. This is uh, from oxidizing to the air and starting to decompose technically. And then I also make a few tabletops, not very many. I just do a couple here and there. So like this one here, this is a uh, black walnut slab. This is 11 feet long. Um, I did black epoxy and a Rubio monocoat finish on this one. This is for a uh, bar top in a basement. I only make a few. Um, I don't have much free time, so I make a few of these uh, a year, not that many. And then I make, I flatten them here on this uh, 12 foot flattening table that I built. Uh, everything I, anything over 25 inches I have to do on this. Um, because of uh, my planer is only so wide and also a planer doesn't really eliminate the the cup. This is basically a big glorified joiner. Um, I flattened and made the table completely flat, square. So um, that's how I flatten those big slabs. So back to the molder. Um, this is the molder that I run. This is a Logosol. Um, it can do paneling up to 10 inches wide. They have a 14 inch cutting head, planing head, and also I think this is a 17 or 16 inch. Um, everything on this machine is metric because it is uh, from Sweden. So as you see here on the gauges, it's in millimeters. Um, as long as you know what you're doing, it's not that hard to set up this machine. The scale here on the side has inches and millimeters so that helps um, for setting the depth but the width you have to um, you just have to do that by hand and measure that out. So this is the machine that I run. This is how I make all my paneling and then it goes into the dust collector right here and then I blow it out into a chopper wagon outside. I do not have the chopper wagon out there right now. I actually just unloaded that. So that's just a little preview of what I do inside my shop here. I store a little bit of uh, miscellaneous lumber. Um, stuff that most people don't really uh, need or want. It's just here in case somebody asks for it. And then I have the capabilities of getting at least something that they could use. It's so like on the top here is five quarter red oak. It's basically uh, trailer deck boards, but uh, it is good enough for other things. Um, the next layer down right here, this, um, actually right here, this is uh, quarter sawn red oak. This is tongue and groove rejects that I was going to use for my own home projects. And then uh, this is also quarter sawn. This is two inch spruce. Nobody even wants two inch spruce, let alone spruce it on its own. And then this here is all small cuts of red oak. Um, and then this top pile is beech. And I have five piles of that. That's all red oak and um, it's inch and a seven eighths by seven eighths thick and random length. So. This right here, this is all reject. This is uh, listed for sale. Uh, just uh, everything that's a number two or three. So 
to become a number two or three, it's got to have, this is number three, it's got loose knots. A number two would be uh, like this one. It's a solid board, but this knot right here has a fractured crack in it. Um, and it also has a wormwood hole, um, just because these were sat a little bit, so that some of them have wormholes. So they get rejected out of the other pile. Like these are little pin beetle holes and then um, loose knots. So that's just a little bit of what I do inside my shop here at home. Um, if you want to know something else, uh, I can show you or uh, do a video on it later. Um, before I forget, I have some big walnut slabs that I uh, save here for later on, different tables. So I have uh, eight here now um, that I use. So those are just in case I have a little uh, walnut table project I can work on. Then I have the uh, wood here available to use for that. So um, if you're new to the channel, uh, thanks for watching, and if you want to see something new, uh, please subscribe.